celebrated the 76th Independence Day in India in our Devanali in Indranagar. And Dr. D. Mohan Kumar, IS senior IS officer, and Babu Rao Kadidi, and retired IS officer. They both came and told me, Guruji, speak about Rakesh Jinjinra. <laughs> and how ends, I'm going to talk about Rakesh Jinjinwala's. Nudimut, Rakesh Junjinwala, born on 5th July 1916, Hyderabad, passed just a day before. 14th August 2020, in Mumbai, was an Indian billionaire, business magnate, stock trade and investor. He began investing in 1985 with a capital of 5,000 rupees, with his first major profit in 1986. At the time of his death, he had an estimated net worth of $5.8 billion. Rakesh Junjunwala said, always go against the tide. Buy when others are selling and sell when others are buying. That was a great one. Buy when others are selling. To buy, you have to be prepared. We always keep telling, save and then spend. When you save, you always have your profits. You can buy when others are selling. When others are selling, you know, they are weak. They are in a hurry. They can, they can grab any amount uh, you offer or they are, they are ready to sell it at any amount because they want instant money. For buying the instant money, you have to be prepared. It is the same with the children. When we, when we prepare them with the samskriti, with the, uh, with the culture, they are always wide open. The eyes are wide open, ears are wide open because this opportunity comes once, grab it. And children should be taught that is the Tradak practice, that is the concentration practice, that is our beautiful India's dhyana. The dhyana helps them to concentrate. When they do Sanskriti, children are taught that they have to keep the ears open and eyes deep down. And what the international schools, other big schools, they are teaches the children is to talk back. And when you talk back, you do not have the shock absorber. You do not have the capacity to absorb when original things, when God's godly things come. You keep on blah, blah, blah. You keep telling and it's all borrowed knowledge and it is full of, I think, uh, um, not experienced things. Rakesh Junjinwala said, buy when others are selling. That means anybody is selling, you go and buy. Then you, you do, which you do not want it, you will be buying. No, 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 no. That is not the way what the Rakesh told us. He said, buy means be prepared, save, and then spend goes the same from the last so many days. I've been telling, always save and then only spend. First save. When you save your energy, you have enough uh, reserved energy in your old age. Hence, doing the exercises in your young age helps you in the long run because exercises becomes very easy. Flowing water is fresh water, stagnant water stinks. In the classrooms also, you will be able to buy what the teacher is teaching. You will be able to understand what the teachers are teaching. Teachers are just giving it off their talent and you are ready to buy and you must have the capacity to buy. We only if you save. And what did you save? You save your samskriti of trying to listen to your elders, touching the elders' feet. When you touch the elders' feet, you have decided that you have emptied all your ahankara, all your ego and selfishness. That is the one thing. There is a snowfall on the bamboo shoot. Goes to Zen Singh, and the bamboo shoot bows to the weight of the snow. And the snow is down and the bamboo shoot is back to position. That is the going, sayings goes. You go, for, you bow to the weight of the snow. You touch the feet of the elders. You, whenever you go to any house, you touch the earth. You kiss the earth. When popes does it, when you go to any country, they just do a purti shashtanga namaskara on the floor to make sure that they and the earth are together. They, they take the blessings of the earth, they take the power of the earth. Like in naturopathy, they say, if you walk barefoot on the mud, the mud will suck all the poisons. Yes, 
you will not forsake that past. That is what it says. Always go against it. Buy when others are selling. To, sell, to buy. To listen, to understand the teachers. When you go, your cup has become empty. You go with the, to the master with the cup empty. And when the master pours fresh water, you, when you drink it, it is tasty. But most of the students go to the classrooms with the cup filled up yesterday's old coffee without cleaning the cup, without doing the homework. Whatever is taught, you go back home and you practice a thousand times. Later on, you don't have to practice a thousand times because the absorption power is so much. You understood just before the question is over, you understood the answer. The answer flows of its own. It strikes with your thinking. Rakesh Jinjin well said, oh, buy when others are selling. Yes, you should be ready to buy. And if you look in the materialistic world of the business world also, you keep your money, you just keep your money ready. And that is a magnet. When you keep your savings ready, it's magnet pulls of people who really need it. And you get it very cheap. You get it very cheap. When you, very, when you get it very cheap, you become more richer in your heart, in your mind, so that you can share to more people. That was the going, saying, say, buy when others are selling. And sell when others are buying. So you keep it when others really has got a lot of money. They are ready to pay any amount of money to buy. That time you sell, you make your profit, means you make your health. When people are ready to give you advice, take the advice. When people are not ready to give you advice, you don't go and pay to get the advice. That advice will not come to you. Hence, many people, they rush up to the astrologers and they fail. They rush up to the temples, they fail. You can enter the temple only if you are sweated out. You have to work very hard. And when you sweat it out, you took a beautiful bath and you are deep in love with your family. Family is ready to buy your sweat. Family is ready to buy your health. Family, the wife and the children are ready to smell your sweat. You and your wife, you and the children becomes one, not two. You and the family becomes one in that sweat, that buying, yes. They go, you are ready to sell it. You don't, you don't even think of selling, but they are ready to buy you. They are ready to give you love. They are ready to take you. They are ready to serve you. In that serving, when you go, you can see branches opening up to a joint family and stabilizes the family tree. And when you want to sell, yes, you will give only when unasked for advice. When somebody comes and really asks for something, you know, the reality that you could sell them because there is a huge amount of profit inside that. Children knows when they wanted to write, they when they write, they know they get the proper marks. You can sell it when the examinations are ready to buy you. Rakesh Jinjinwal is always go against the tide. Against the tide means you push harder to understand your power, how how far you have grown with the power you don't run away you keep pushing and trying to see whether you are strong so the seniors will hit you harder senior the uh, the bigger member will spit on you so you will know you're again going against the, you are not going against the tide but you're going to find out how powerful they are the spat the spit on you you wipe it out so you can take it the, they, they shouted at you use bad languages but it doesn't enter you because you are like a lotus flower. When Buddha went from one village to another, people start abusing Buddha, started throwing rotten eggs. One hour abusing, and Buddha just looked at them. And the elders came to Buddha and said, One hour we are all shouting and screaming and throwing uh, rotten eggs at you. But you never said anything. Buddha said, Suppose I give you a present, I give you a gift, and if you don't accept the gift, to whom it goes? And the elder said, it goes back to the same person. Same voice, you are giving me so many gifts and I have not accepted. So to whom it goes? If you have that kind of a power, you will re reach that kind of a power. And when you write answers, it is 100 out of 100. You can sell and you can buy. Give and take in time. 
the time is very important opportunity comes once grab it give and take in time this is the richest root for everybody that consciousness that observation the richest root take the richest root rakesh jinjinwala said always go against the tide but don't destroy buy when others are selling but you have to be ready for it and sell when others are buying when others are ready to buy only you are ready to give advice